Hi campers, my name is Goose and today I'll be talking about painting. Let's get started. So as we all know, painting can sometimes be a huge mess. I mean, not only can you get it everywhere, but it's hard sometimes to, you know, get that picture perfect or to get lines perfect when it's just messy everywhere, you know? So in this video, I'll be showing you like tricks or hacks about how not only to clean up paint, but to get that really nice clean painting picture that you really want. Now, the first hack or trick you can say is about where to paint. Now, you don't want to paint just on your floor because you'll get it stained, especially if it's carpet. Now, some people will use newspaper, but I mean, who gets newspaper anymore, honestly? So, I use trash bags, and trash bags are pretty easy in my opinion because everyone has them. Just ask your mom and dad, and they probably have like a ton, like a whole bin. And just place your trash bags down, and then you can get started. It's that easy. Now, the next hack, I wouldn't really would call it a hack, but basically, let's say you have nowhere to put your paints if you don't have a canvas, you know? I use the back of this old watercolor set that I have. Um, as long as you have a protective, like, plastic thing that covers the paint, then it's pretty easy to use because it, the paint dries up, you can clean it off pretty easily, and it's a pretty good white canvas for me to just place my paint down and just, you know, get started. Uh, if you have like a yogurt lid, that could work too. Like something smooth and like clear would really work well. Now the next trick is actually going to be the first painting hack I'll be talking about, and it's about blending your paints. Um, as you can see here, it is very, very hard to blend your paint with a normal brush. Now they do have blending brushes on Amazon, but those can be sometimes expensive. So if you don't have that, the next best thing to use is a makeup sponge. Now if you don't have makeup, uh, that's fine. You can ask your mom, she probably has one. And she probably has a whole package, honestly, so you can probably ask for two or three. Um, just daily makeup sponges would do, and uh, as you can see, it's pretty good at blending the paint together really well. Uh, the thing about this hack to make it really good is you have to be patient. Uh, I would suggest doing a first layer, letting it dry, and then putting the paint over again. So multiple of dry layers works really, really well with the makeup sponge and yeah it's one of my favorite hacks I do it all the time for like skies or sunsets it's really good at blending pinks together and uh, as you can see this is me trying to blend without the sponge and this is me blending with the sponge so you can see the difference that it makes so for me to do the next hack on painting I'll be needing for this painting to dry. So I'm gonna show you guys this hack on how to make your painting dry even faster. You get a hair dryer, and you use a hair dryer and just, you know, use it on the painting, just like blow on it. <laughs> um, ask your parents for permission first because it is an electrical device, so it can be mild mildly dangerous. Um, and don't forget to unplug it when you're done. Now this trick is going to be about painting straight lines. Um, if you want the most precise lines, then I suggest a paint marker. You can get these on Amazon, and as you can see, the precision is really, really nice. But most people don't have paint markers, and I know that. So you would think, oh, using a tiny brush would work. And in theory, yes, but brushes are really, really hard at painting straight lines, as you can see. So. What I like to do, and I don't know if anyone else does this, but this is what I do. I like using a Sharpie, and I like dipping the Sharpie in the black paint and then drawing lines like that. And as you can see, it is much easier to draw lines with this method. Um, it is slower, I you would have to have patience for it, but the outcome is so much better than just using a brush. And also, I feel like I'm in a lot more control. 
Um, you do have to re-dip, you know, multiple times. But like I said, it, it, I feel so much more in control. It feels so much easier. And you can see the difference that it makes with using a brush versus the Sharpie. Uh, you can use multiple color Sharpies. I have used multiple colors before. However, I usually just have a black Sharpie lying around most of the time. So that's the one I most commonly use. So this isn't really a trick, but it's something I never knew about. And it's basically, let's say you want to start over your painting. Well, you can actually wash off your canvas if the paint is still wet pretty easily actually if the acrylic paint is still wet uh the one problem with this is it does you know make your sink a mess but i have another hack for that and that's using makeup wipes uh makeup wipes are really really great for cleaning up paint just ask your mom for one again she probably has it uh it's really really good for cleaning sinks and for cleaning up your hands um and also, for I use it to clean up my canvas, uh, to clean up the wet paint that's still on my canvas, as you can see here. I don't know why a lot of makeup products are really good with painting, but in my experience, they've always had been. Even, like, makeup stencils have worked with painting as well. Yeah, I don't know what's about the makeup world, but apparently they love painting as well. So, um... <laughs> I'm going to be real with you guys, in this next hack, I have tried multiple times and I kept failing. But what was really great is that under all my failures, I found something new and I found a new hack or a new trick that I can do. So this next one will prove to you that like, you know, never stop trying because under all that failure, you, you can get something good out of it. So I'll show you what I did. So for this hack, I was thinking, how can I create watercolor or watercolor effect without using watercolors? Because not everyone has watercolors. And as you can tr see, I tried multiple times. Um, my first attempt was trying to use nail polish with like nail polish remover or acetone to like dilute it, you know, and make it like watercolor. And it kind of worked, but not really. So it didn't work as well as the method I'm about to show you. So the best method I, that came out of this, for me personally, was using just normal acrylic paint with either acetone or I think even water will work as well. Um, and you don't want to have a lot of paint on there, only just a little bit. And basically, you just want to take that little bit of paint, put it in water or nail polish remover acetone and just put it on the canvas. And as you can see, it kind of creates that watercolor effect. Um, I tried multiple colors with this and I actually came up with something pretty cool. Um, I tried like pink with orange and it turned out alright, but then I started mixing black in there and it kind of like came with this cool smoke effect. So I was thinking maybe if you don't have watercolor and if you want to create like a cool smoke effect like out of the chimney or like create a fire. I think using black with this method would work really, really well. Um, obviously, it depends on your brush and how hard and how soft you you uh, put it on the canvas. But as you can see, it's mixing pretty well with the orange, actually. And it's looking really, really cool. Now, I still suggest watercolor if you ever want to you know, completely do watercolor. I suggest buying watercolor, but I think this hack is worth trying if you don't have watercolor. Now this next part is gonna show you something I found accidentally. So I brought my canvas to clean it and suddenly the paint started dripping down. And I was like, whoa, this is really, really cool. I didn't know if acrylic paint was still wet that I would do this. Do this. I honestly didn't know. And then I had a thought, what if I did this effect but like with rainbow colors, you know? So I, I tried the same method again with acrylic paint um, in acetone or water and I did it quickly, you know, to not let them dry and then I tilted the canvas and look at this, it's dripping. I honestly didn't think this would work but it looks really, really, really cool. Um, there are some areas where it's not dripping, like the yellow or green, so I just went back with the water again 
and it started dripping. And so as you can see, you want to be fast with this method, but you know, you can also go back and and add more water to make it drip even more. So I add some dots and this is what it looks like in the end. And I really, really liked how it turned out. I recommend you guys try this. This is really cool. Anyway, my camera's rotated. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make. And I even learned some stuff about myself and how I paint too. So I hope you get some stuff out of this. And um, I can't wait to teach all of y'all at CLC Unique, and I hope y'all have a good day!